how are you doing? Welcome to My Gospel Soul Central with Pastor Jackson. Well, Jackson Ebo. All right. Now, I thank God for being here today. You know, this is a live broadcast. And so I welcome everyone to join me on this Sunday morning. Share it with somebody. Let them know that we are online. And um, today we're going to talk about, talk from Joel 2 and 25. And we're going to be sharing about the palmer worm, the locust, the canker worm, and the caterpillar. We're going to be sharing, uh, uh, identifying the, the, the uh, different positions. Well, I guess you can say revealing the different spirits that are in our lives. And, and knowing who God is as far as a God uh, a being a God of restoration so I definitely want to again just welcome you to the show because let me tell you something amen when I read about this a while back and uh, just realized start identifying these spirits in different areas of my life with different people in my life I'm telling you I was undone I mean God is good and like I always tell you joining me from my home Amen. And, and uh, this Sunday morning, I just give God the glory. I give Him the praise. Listen, when you get in order with God and you begin to do what He has told you or called you to do, ain't nobody mad but the devil. But guess what you have to do? You got to continue to go on anyhow. Praise God. I lift up the mighty name of Jesus this morning. Amen. And I want to just uh, pray with you. And that we may get this word and that is that we understand how important it is to under, to know who God is. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we give you the glory. Lord, we give you the honor. Hallelujah. We give you the honor on this morning, glory to God. Lord, we thank you, Father God, for being who you are. We thank you for all that you have done. We thank you for what you're doing for us, Father God, about to do for us, amen, and what you already done, have already done. And Lord, we just ask, Lord to God, that you keep us is our prayer, and that this word fall on good ground, that we do a self-evaluation knowing where we are in you. And Lord, we just want to thank you for it right now. And we don't take it for granted. We know that your word will return. Uh, uh, I mean, it will go out and accomplish what it set out to do. And it will not return until you void. Amen. Hallelujah. So, again, today we're coming from Joel 2 and 25. Now, I know it's a very popular scripture. And a lot of people read it. A lot of people read it. A lot of people refer to it. And a lot of people preach it. And But I always like to break it down. Amen. Because uh, it, to me it's better for you to know what you're reading about. Amen. So today is revealing the different spirits in your life knowing who you are surrounded by amen glory to God now this is not to take a shot at your friends because some of us are going to listen to this and we think that we're making a reference to your friends uh, even if it, if it does reveal what who they are are some of their character traits but you also got to know what your enemies are there for you got to know what your friends are there for what purpose do they serve in your life amen glory to God are they there to increase you or can you turn it down for me? are they there to increase you or are they there to hinder are they there for you to learn something from are they there amen to show you what true friendship is what is their purpose in your life? A lot of us are dealing with people uh, that disrupt our purpose. They they uh, they always have us stressed out and always have us, you know. And we gotta. When I find out when you know people's position in your life, when you know 
you know their purpose uh, in your life it's easier to deal with them and it's easier to deal with your relationship and connection with them when you know what their purpose is now also you in in hearing about these different uh, locusts today <laughs> these different words today all right in dealing with this amen you also find out if it's in your character as well again doing a self-evaluation and sometimes we'd be so busy saying oh i know who that is oh i know uh, uh, that sound like so and so we also need to make sure that we be careful to check our spirit as well make sure that we are not the canker worm in someone's life we are not the palmer worm in someone's life we are not a man a a a a heavy burden on someone else we are not hindering or holding up or or, or being a manipulative part of some, uh, uh, um, a hindrance in someone's life we have to make sure that we are not that to somebody else amen so this is not to take shots at, uh, at people but to understand where we are, whose we are, amen, glory to God, and be able to identify the things that hinder us from going forward. Amen. You do not want to be a putt-putt car. You don't want to be sitting saying, oh, every time I take two steps forward, it's like I take ten steps back. So you want to find out what it is that is holding you up. What is it that's keeping you? What is it? That is that is uh, uh, disrupting your walk with God. We're gonna do it today, praise God. And we're gonna. So we start off talking, Amen. Uh, from Joel. Now uh, our uh, supporting scripture is Joel uh, two and twenty five, and it says, "I will restore to you the years that the locust had eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palm worm and my." It says, My great army, which I sit among you, and you shall eat in plenty, and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, that hath dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be ashamed again. Hallelujah. Never be ashamed again. So let's go over and let's read from starting at, um, let's start at verse 18 hallelujah glory to God and just to bring you up to speed of what was happening in this chapter uh, uh, some of God's people had been ravished by the enemy they had come in and they had took all of their goods all of their spoil and and they cried out to the Lord and the Lord began the process of restoration Amen. And with us, God does that as well. Sometimes we think God has 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 allowed us to go through something, or uh, but sometimes it, it. And I'm telling you, it's the enemy that has robbed you. Praise God. And and I want you to understand, Amen. Glory to God. That the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And a lot of times, the enemy gets away with this because we're not watchmen on the wall. We're not paying attention to our surroundings. We're not paying attention to the people that call themselves friends. We're not paying attention to the situations that we have introduced into our lives, our children's lives, amen, our spiritual life, praise God. Is this person a divine connection? Is this ministry a ministry, amen, that I'm supposed to be partnering with? Now, this is not to come against any ministry because... God spoke of seven churches. John spoke of seven churches. Amen. And there were seven nations. Glory to God. And in those seven churches, praise God. Amen. When you read in the book of Revelation, you find out that it was a church for, for a different uh, nation, for different people. Same thing with the tribe of Israel. Amen. Israel. Jacob. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. His children became the nations of of Israel come on now hallelujah so we had different nations and just like we have different churches we have a church that that deals with a certain crop of people we have a church that deal with this crop of people that's why it's important that you make sure that you are a part of the right ministry amen the ministry that's going to take you further amen it is possible to be to attach yourself to the wrong ministry amen it is possible 
to attach yourself, amen, to the to uh in the wrong uh covenants and ungodly covenants with people. Praise God. And what I mean by ungodly covenants, uh alliances, let me put it like that. What I'm saying is the things that are not in order with your destiny, things that are not in order with your purpose, things that are off track. Amen. Not saying that they don't that God is not with them. Amen. Glory to God. But saying it may not be the right place for what God has called you to do. And we as mature children of God have to be able to say, this is not where I'm supposed to be. Uh, I love you, pastor. I love this church. Amen. But I believe that this is not where I'm supposed to be. God is sending me somewhere else. And I'm going to tell you just like this. Take the good with the bad. Listen. And they may not understand what you mean. But when you peel off everything that the enemy has placed over you and, you and you stop functioning like you think people want you to function and begin to walk in the order that God has called for your life in obedience, glory to God, in obedience, God could have blessed Abraham right where he was. God could have blessed Abraham right where he was. But God had a, had a mission for Abraham. It's something that God wanted out of Abraham's seed. Come on now. Hallelujah. It set forth, amen, a divine path for Jesus Christ, amen, to be to be birthed into this world. Praise God. So Abraham, through him stepping out, amen, birthed nations. Hallelujah. Blessed nations. Glory to God. We're still living off the residual blessings, amen, of Abraham today through his obedience. So again, Amen. You got to understand where you are, <coughs> whose you are, amen, in the direction that you are going. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. So in talking about, uh, we're in talking about um, the palmer worm, the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the locust, what parts do uh, people play in your life? Are they a canker worm? Are they a palmer worm? Uh, is it, you know, is the situation you're in? Does it have the characteristics of a lo of the locust? Uh, come on now, hallelujah! Is it ripping things away from your life? Is it destroying your focus? Is it taking you away from the path that God has set for your life? You have to come to a place where you understand which is which amen hallelujah and like i said earlier and if you notice you're able to put things into perspective uh for example if you know a person is is only only um strong enough to handle so much of this then it's only so far you're gonna go with them <laughs> amen hallelujah and if you know a person that is that's going to go all the way with you you know that you can go all the way with them hallelujah glory to god but if you know that a person amen if you give them too much authority or information in your life that they will use it to destroy you when they get angry then guess what you know how far to go with them praise god doesn't mean you'll get rid of them it doesn't mean that you're oh i'm gonna leave you behind but what it does mean praise god is you know how far to go with them so we must know people's position in our lives hallelujah glory to god i got a lot of people in my lives that say that they are friends but guess what i know how far to go with them amen glory to god now i got people that are so close to me praise god they know everything about me hallelujah but that's because they've shown me that that's what they are hallelujah glory to god now and it's important to know that it's not a mean thing it's not an arrogant thing it's just knowing Hallelujah. Knowledge is power. Amen. And it also brings wisdom. So let's look at uh, verse 18. It says, Then will the Lord be jealous from this hand and pity his people. Now again, I was telling you, let's go back up to 15 because I, I, I always like for everybody to know everything. In Joel 2 and 15 it says, Blow the trumpet in Zion. Sanctify a fast. Call a solemn assembly. Gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children and those that suck the breast. Let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber and the bride out of her closet. 
Let the priests, they were calling everybody. Let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep before the porch and the altar. And let them say, spare thy people, O Lord, and give not thine heritage to reproach, that the heathen should rule over them. Wherefore should they say among the people, where is their God? They had got into a place, praise God, where they knew they needed, amen, a Savior. They knew they needed God to move on their behalf. They did not want the enemy to rejoice over them, praise God. And we got to learn how to pull our families together, pull our loved ones together, and say, come on, hallelujah, let's fast, hallelujah, glory to God. Let's get out of these places, amen, and, and bring our focus in, in one accord, praise God, and ask God not to allow our enemies to rejoice over us praise God amen Lord reveal unto us what we should do Father God cover and protect us glory to God amen they got together hallelujah amen and I'm experiencing amen a division within the body of Christ and I'm going to be so bold to say amen the body of Christ is still intact Amen. We the one. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God that leave the body. Hallelujah. But God, amen. Hallelujah. The body is still together. So you want to make sure that you're within the body. They begin to call the elders. They say, call the babes. Call in the priests. Call in everybody. We're going to get up in one accord about what's happening right now in our nation. What has happened right now, praise God, with our, with, 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 uh, uh, with our enemies coming in He said we don't want our enemies To rejoice over us We don't want our heritage, We don't want our children to see us as a nation That has been destroyed by the hands of the enemy Let's call on the almighty God And that's what a lot of us need to do God is calling us back to prayer He's calling us back to fasting Amen glory to God And I know some of us are saying we're praying we're this, But I'm not talking about that praise God I'm talking about just like it said right here Amen. It says, it, call, it says, weep. Amen. Between the porch and the altar. And those of you that know about the tabernacle, praise God. And how and, and, and how the porch was before the altar. Glory to God. And how they prayed. And it was a sacred place. It said, we want to be intimate with God. We want to be in that place. Amen. Hallelujah. To show so humble and so broken before God. Till he understand that we mean business. We're trying to press on heaven. And we're trying to get some results. Glory to God. Amen. And you have to be willing to do that. Uh, glory to God. And, and 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 so they called everybody in together. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And then it says in the next uh, scripture, praise God. It says, Then will the Lord be jealous with his with his for his land and pity his people. Praise God. That God would take divine compassion divine compassion for his people do you know that God wants to give divine compassion towards your situation he's waiting for us to humble ourselves he's waiting for us amen to be willing to be in a position praise God where we don't care what we look like to other people we're just trying to get to God we don't care amen if we look foolish and crazy let me tell you Hannah didn't care Hannah needed something from the Lord so Hannah amen hallelujah she got the she got to crying out to God and and, and the and the king said it looked like she she's uh she's crazy you know we got to be just that desperate amen Glory to God. If you know that your household is going a certain way, if you know that your relationship looks like it's going down the drain and, and it's out of your hands and you think that you have done all that you know how to do, well, let me tell you something. You go between that porch and that altar, praise God. You begin to fast. You begin to shut your mouth to the enemy and begin to cry out to the Lord. Come on now. Hallelujah. In this scripture, we're learning, praise God, that they didn't go. To the enemy and say please we are a nation of the almighty God give us our stuff back they didn't do that they went to the one that had power over all things glory to God and we don't do that we handle things in our flesh glory to God and I'm just bringing you up to that place hallelujah amen they knew who they needed to go to verse 19 says yea the Lord will answer and say unto his people behold I will send you corn and wine and oil and you shall be saved sanctified uh, therewith and I will no more make you a reproach among the heathen 
God these are the things that God amen hallelujah the Lord was going to do for you see some of us underestimate the power of prayer we underestimate glory to God and I'm just going with the Holy Spirit the Holy Spirit taking me this direction if we come back to the palm of worm hallelujah but I'm telling you right now amen the Holy Spirit is, is moving upon me to say we need to pray we need to rededicate our lives to Christ. We need to rededicate our households to Christ. We need to come out of that, that valley, that spirit of confusion. Because God is not the author of confusion. We need to come out of that place where we feel like uh, serving God the way we used to ain't right. Listen, that's the spirit of confusion, praise God. And I'm going to tell you something, you know, the devil is slick and he's cunning. And before you know it, he'll tell you, oh, it's all right to go this direction. It's okay to go that direction. And before you know it, your life is in shambles. There's no power. There's no prayer in your home anymore. Nothing but bickering and fighting. And 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 even in your with your friends. You don't hang with them no more. You don't go to church no more. You don't deal with people no more. I know this because I've been through it. Hallelujah, glory to God. The devil is slick and he's cunning. Hallelujah. He'll make you he'll make you think you so right in your mindset. But anytime you are denying the power of God, anytime that you are turning your back on any part of the body of Christ, something is wrong. You got to be able. Let me tell you something. Last night, I tossed and turned. I was trying to get some sleep. And finally, when I went to sleep, I had a, a dream. God began to show me. I was on, on, a, I was on a job. And, and while I was working a job, all, all the things that I was doing meant nothing. The person that was my supervisor kept finding problems with everything that I was doing. And telling me to do it another way. And the more I did it another way, praise God, I still was not moving forward. I still was not making any progress, praise God. So we got to be aware. We have to be aware of what we're sowing our seed into. What I mean, our works, we got it. That's a seed. That's sowing seed. Amen. When you go and you work in the field, you plowing in the field. Come on now, hallelujah. You turning the ground and all that. You got to make sure it's on good ground. It's in good soil. Hallelujah. And I love the Lord because I'm going to tell you something. Amen. When the Lord begin to reveal to me that I'm going the wrong direction, I stop it. Glory to God. I, I, I don't, uh. <laughs> I stop it. Why? Because I done did enough years, amen, walking in a circle like the children of Israel. I done did enough years, hallelujah. And I don't know about you, and you ought to feel, you ought to feel the same way. Hallelujah. I done lost too much. Hallelujah. Fooling around with the enemy. Listening. Going with this wave and doctrine. Going over here. Going over here. Following that wave through the church. Praise God. Amen. One day we prosperity. The next day we we it's about healing and deliverance and working miracles. And the next day it's about who got the biggest house and getting a house built from the ground up. The next time it's about sowing a seed of $77. Sowing a seed of of, of, of Seven hundred and seventy seven all these ways. Let me tell you something. I was talking with a young lady last night and we was talking about balance. You got to have balance. Hallelujah. God wants us balanced. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So I just wanna I, I and I'm just throwing that in there. <laughs> My God. You gotta be tired of the enemy ripping you off. Hallelujah. You gotta be tired of Watching everything fail, hallelujah. Watching everything fall through the cracks. Then waking up and don't understand why it ain't going the way you think it should go. You got to understand, a train derail is still a train going at the same speed. Yeah, it's still a train going at the same speed. A train derailed does not mean that it stopped moving. It's still going. And you don't want to be uh, destroying things. Because when you off track, you de you're destroying things. You still destroying things in your past, innocent people. Glory to God. So let's continue on. So God showed divine uh, mercy, Amen, and then sent divine supplies. See that they were robbed, yes, but guess what they did? The whole community got together. Everybody stopped what they were doing and began to pray in one accord. 
And when they begin to pray in one accord, hallelujah, divine increase came to their life. When everybody began to get in one accord, divine increase, hallelujah, divine supplies, glory to God, that never ran out, hallelujah, began to happen in their lives. People of God, hallelujah, I dare you, I dare you, amen, hallelujah, to come out of all of this fashioning, come out of all of this extra, go to God, and lay before God, amen, like like David say, like in the word of God to say, in sackcloth and ashes pull off all of these facades pull off all of this dignified stuff, pull it all off, hallelujah and just get get, get, uh, 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 humble before the Lord forget about your title, forget about amen, hallelujah <laughs> my God, cause I'm gonna tell you something when this, when these people Amen. Lost everything. It didn't matter what your title was then. It didn't matter if you was king. It didn't matter if you was duchess. It didn't matter what you were. What matters is we needed the Lord. And we called everybody. Mamas, daddies, children, aunts, uncles, priests. Come on now. It said the bride. Hallelujah. And the bridegroom. That means the, the honeymooners came out the honeymoon. Glory to God. To seek his face. God wants to move for us, people of God. But we got to be willing to come out of, to peel off all of these things and get before God. We got to be willing. But some of us, we don't want to look crazy. We don't want to walk away from this and walk away from that because we scared it's going to look like we failed. But what's more important? Looking like you failed. Oh, getting up there and God saying, depart from me, I know you're not. What's most important? Huh? Inheriting the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. Doing the work of God. You don't want your work to be in vain. It, you don't want your work to be in vain, people of God. And I know it's hard. Amen. Sometimes our pride, amen, be in there and want to tell us, don't you dare admit that it didn't work. Don't you dare admit that you was wrong. How that's going to make you look. The Bible said don't care about what man has to say about you. You better care about what God has to say. Amen. Alright, let's continue on. That was good to my spirit. Amen. So God began to give them divine increase. He said, he gave, he said I, I will send corn and wine and oil and ye shall be satisfied therewith and I will no more make you a reproach among the heathen. I will no longer make you a reproach among the heathen. So not only am I going to give you divine increase, not only am I going to give you divine increase, come on now, hallelujah, but I'm going to clear your name up. Hallelujah. I know the scriptures say I'm going to prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. So I'm not just going to give you divine increase. Oh, come on now. Hallelujah. I'm going to clear your name up. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And it goes on to say, Amen. It goes on from, from verse 20 on down just telling you the divine supply amen that he's gonna do amen on your behalf glory to god now we get into we're going into verse 24 and the floor shall be full of wheat it's still talking about that 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 divine increase the supernatural abundance that plenty he's promising it to us glory to god some of us amen we don't believe god's promises but i'm here to tell you baby you can go to the bank on God's promises. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You can get to dancing, shout, and testify right now in advance for what God is about to do for you. Come out of that place of pride. Glory to God. The Bible saying everything is prayer and supplication. Make your request known unto him. Glory to God. Ain't nothing wrong with some crying out. Ain't nothing wrong with some with some weeping. Ain't nothing wrong with it. It's in your weeping and it's in that it's in that laying before God that intimate time that God begins to to, to do a work, a mighty work in your life. It's that it listen, 
It's through that 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 uh shifts are made, praise God. It's through that, praise God, that time, hallelujah, glory to God, that that uh that the trick of the enemy's path, amen, is detoured. It could be a text being sent towards your house. And baby, let me tell you, if you laying on that floor and you crying out to God, the devil will have to stay his hand, death, or have to have to have to uh have to remove itself. Come on now. Cancer or have to go. Sickness and illness or have to go, praise God. It's power in prayer. Glory to God. Prayer is the key and faith unlocks the door. This was a people that understood that talking to the Lord is serious. Now let's go into verse 25. Amen. Hallelujah. Verse 25. Amen. It says, and I will restore to you. Now this is what gets me about the scripture. He said, I will not only give you the things that the enemy robbed you of. He said, but I'm about to give you even the things that the canker worm, palmer worm, that was destroyed and, dis and wasted from your life even before then. I'm going to go even further back. Hallelujah. And I'm going to restore things to you, <laughs> my God, that, 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 that was stolen from you way then, that, that life itself robbed you of come on now that's that's awesome i'm not only gonna give you a man divine supply but i'm gonna restore things that you lost even in your youth i'm gonna give you back oh lord have mercy things amen that that were were ripped from your hands not by the the one that just robbed you i'm talking about that happened over the course of time i'm gonna give that back hallelujah I love it. It said, I will restore unto you the years that the locust had eaten away. And I looked up locusts, praise God. Hey, Amen. Y'all listen. <coughs> All of these are a form of inch worm. All right. Inch worms are what? Destructive. Hallelujah. Wreaking havoc. Some of them destroy subtly. You know, they don't announce I'm destroying you. Just over time, over time, before you know it, this is gone. Before you know it, your faith is low. Before you know it, like I said earlier, you're not going to church. Before you know it, you, you back to cussing. Before you know it, you back to fornicating. Before you know it, your mind is gone. Before you know it, we're going to say, guess what? I'm giving it back. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The canker worm is a destructive worm. Amen. It emerges at a certain time from the under underground. Amen. Y'all know them old relationships. Praise God. Hallelujah. Those that you thought was over with, done, buried, dead. Guess what? <laughs> My God. They pop up every now and then. How many of you... Uh, have experience you get married then all of a sudden here come an ex-boyfriend an ex-girlfriend somebody that want to see if you still got them feelings for them yeah that's the canker worm come on now hallelujah that's the canker worm gonna pop back up try to make you think you done missed something try to make you think you got it wrong with the one you with i'm just using that as an example hallelujah you can take it the way you want to take it amen hallelujah but the same thing happens when you join a new church and you get in the right church with the right pastor. Then all of a sudden, here come the old pastor want to show up. Here come the old friends want to show up when you give your life to Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. I know. It's hard. It's tight. But it's true. Glory to God. You got to be able to see these spirits. Glory to God. And not second guess what God has told you to do. I'm pretty sure people, uh, some people wanted to tell Abraham or told him. Where you going Abraham? You're crazy. You got everything you need right here. I'm pretty sure it was some folk that said that to Abraham. I'm pretty sure. And we all know they talk crazy to Job. They told Job, Job, you crazy. His wife even told him you need to cuss God and die. 
David, he got the praising God and his wife got the talking crazy. David, you a king. You don't have no business out there dancing and coming all out your clothes. You a king. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. The canker worm emerges to try to remind you of what you miss. He emerges, but he destroying things. He destroying things. Let me tell you something. Once he wreck your life, he going on to wreck the next person's life. Once he wreck your life, woman of God. Once she wreck your life, man of God. Y'all not going to be together. Oh, I'm going to leave my wife for her. Oh, I'm going to leave my husband for her. For him. Or her. Because in this day and time, you, you know. Amen. And your life after that, you just. Because it was a, a device of the enemy. He used it. He lured you. And you fell for it. But guess what? Dunham, I love this song by Dunham McClurk. We fall down, but we get up. It's time to get up. If you're listening to this broadcast, don't feel bad. Get up. Don't sit back and say, well, I done did too much. Get up. Don't, don't. Listen, David say my sins are ever before me. Everybody know my sin. My sin is ever before me. But Lord, I'm not repenting to them. I'm repenting to you. Lord, I, I, Lord, you are the one, hallelujah, that has a heaven or hell to put me in. So, Lord, I, right now, glory to God, even though my sins are on display, even though I walked out on my wife and attached myself to this Jezebel, attached myself to this woman that I thought was a better, Lord, even though I was deceived in myself, Lord, I need you to save her and save me too. Come on now, hallelujah. Glory to God. Cause let me tell you something. I slick the devil. He'll make you think you're right. He'll make you think you're on the right path. He is seducing. He's seducing. Glory to God. Now, the palm worm. The palm worm. The worm in your life is constantly moving. They in your life, and you think they serve some type of purpose, but they don't. They just there. And guess what? When they finish using you. They're going to go on to use somebody else. That's the palmer worm. The palmer worm has no significance. He's just there. He's there to eat up what he can get. He's there to use you for what he can get. And then he's going on to the next person. This spirit is on man and woman. This spirit is on, on, on businesses. It's on. Let me tell you something. Glory to God. We need to be in prayer. We need to be asking God for discernment. We need to be asking God to help us to be stronger watchmen, be more alert. Praise God, Lord. Uh, we need to we need to be more in the spirit than we are in our flesh. Cause let me tell you something. When you wake up one day and you have nothing, when you wake up one day and you done lost your home, you done lost your yo. Come on now, and that I'm telling you, evidence of the palmer worm and the canker worm done been to your house. The caterpillar. Now watch this. The caterpillar is so slick. He blend in. He blends in. He come on in and he find out and assess the uh, the uh, assess the environment. And then he blends in. He turn whatever color he need to turn. He could turn the he could turn the color of a stick on a branch to where you're passing right up and not even know he's there. We need discernment, y'all. Hallelujah. Go to God. A lot of these things that's happening in our life, if we would have just, if we would walk more in the spirit than we did in the flesh. The Bible say, if you live in the spirit, if you live in the spirit, then you need to walk in the spirit. So you will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. And let me tell you something. When you're dealing with this, this inchworm called a caterpillar, it said it could camouflage right in your mix and you not even know they there. It'll get to singing to you. It'll get to talking to you. It'll lay down and cry with you. It'll pray with you. It'll do all of that so that you won't know that it's there. <laughs> the devil know the word. It'll pump you up. Come on now. 
my God. And all the while, it's just eating away at your existence. It's using you for everything it can get out of you. And guess what? When it's done, it's over with. It's fat full and gone on to the next person. And you sitting there saying, what happened? I used to be. I used to be. I used to be. Glory to God. Lord have mercy. Now I like this. Now the locusts, the locusts, uh, the locusts come in groups, swarms, swarms. All these people putting you on pedestals. Come on now. <laughs> putting you on pedestals, setting you up high. It comes in swarms. It, and <laughs> my God, you sitting there saying, I don't know why I don't feel, why I feel uncomfortable. I don't know why this is going the way it's going. I got all these people around me, everything's going on. Yeah, yeah, the locust is there. We got to understand the trademarks of the locust. We got to understand the trademarks of the caterpillar. We, you got to see the trademarks of the palmer worm. Palmer worm is constantly moving like a pilgrim. Where are they going next? They have no foundation. They have no stability. They have no substance. But they're going to eat you out of house and home. <laughs> My God. Rob you of your peace. And you ain't gonna even you and look, you don't even think it's them. It can't be them. It can't be them. <laughs> now watch this. I'm gonna tell you something my daughter pointed out to me. It said it says after the palmer worm, then the locust eats. And then after the locust, then the canker worm eats. Then after the canker worm, then comes the caterpillar. That's when you're down to nothing. And somebody, let me tell you something. Even when you're down to your last, it's somebody there that want that too. It amazes me. But it's somebody that show up that want that last, want that last little bit too. I don't just want, look, the, the, the enemy come, he don't just want your mind. He wants your peace. He wants your, he wants your, he wants your whole life, your existence, your identity. He want it all. He wants it all. But guess what? I know a God, hallelujah, that sits high and looks low. And he said, I need you to pray. I need you to ask me. You can you can have what you what you want if you ask me. He's just waiting on us to ask him. These people understood all they needed to do was ask him. Rally some folk around you. Glory to God. Say, come on, y'all. I need to ask God for something. I need to ask God to move. I need, and I need all the people I can get that are touch and agree with me. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He say, I'm going to restore you. Everything that these worms came in and destroyed in your life, I'm about to restore you. Everything. It says, it says the palm worm. It says, my great army which I sent among you it says and ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God that has dealt wondrously with you and my people shall never be ashamed come on now hallelujah put your pride to the side come on now Put your pride to the side. God says it doesn't matter. Amen. That you were on top of the world four years ago. That, that you had it going on four years ago. And today it seems like it all wasted away. He said that's alright. Because I'm a God of restoration. I can do it again. Hallelujah. I can turn your situation around. I can do it again. And I not only can do it again. But I can show you. Amen. I can put you in a place spiritually. Where you'll be able to identify the enemy. When it come upon you again. Because he's going to come back. He's going to come back and he's going to try you. He's going to see if he can come and do it again. He's going to come and see if he can use you again. Hallelujah. Oh, I've been there. Hallelujah. I've been there. Praise God. Lost everything. Glory to God. Amen. And I felt the shame. I was like, Lord, I should have been wise. I should have been able to see this coming. Praise God. But guess what the Lord said? It don't matter. You belong to me. And I'm going to restore you. It don't matter. You love me. And I love you. Come on now. And I'm going to restore you. And guess what I'm going to do? And every 
every time that the enemy raise up again, I'm going to show you that he's the enemy. I'm going to show you that spirit again. I'm going to show you because now you know what it feel like. You know what it look like. You know what it talk like. You know that it comes in a disguise. Hallelujah. When somebody going to rob you, they don't walk up to you and say, I'm going to rob you. When somebody is going to, uh, when somebody come in your house and you, and you call them friends. You don't know that when they find out that you ain't going to be home, they're going to come in and take all the stuff out your house. You don't know that. Listen, my house was cleaned out by a mother-in-law. My husband's, my ex-husband's mother cleaned my house out. And it put my dining room set in her, in her living room, hooked up my washer and dryer in her garage. Come on now, because hers was old and mine was new rip me off do you understand me and i'm gonna tell you this right here oh but god hallelujah good oh god god raised me back up man of god he raised me back up woman of god and i use that it's small to you but i use that as an example god is a god of restoration and he listen god is not sleep hallelujah get up take authority over your life right now through the power of the almighty god Stop allowing the enemy, amen, glory to God, to have full control over your life, praise God. Stop sitting down on the enemy saying, well, you might as well just take the rest. Uh-uh, the devil is a lie, hallelujah. This day, glory to God, you will stand up and be accounted for, hallelujah. Fast, pray, get closer to God. The closer you get to God, hallelujah, the, the more you feel victorious. And you're going to see the salvation of the Lord. His blessings are going to manifest in your life. His blessings are going to take over like never before. Trust me, man of God. Trust me, woman of God. When I tell you, praise God. God is your peace. He is your peace. But you got to believe it. Amen. Hallelujah. The hardest thing for us to do is to believe that God is our peace. The hardest thing for us to do, amen, is to believe that God can restore us because we be too, too busy in shock. Amen. Of all the things that have been destroyed. But I'm here to tell you today. Glory to God. He is our peace. And God is looking. Amen. Hallelujah. For you to worship him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thank God. Amen. Hallelujah. We're going to just praise him right now. I want to pray with you. Amen. And I believe God to do great and wonderful things in your life. I believe right now that God is, you're getting that courage. And you're humbling yourself. And you're saying, I need God. I need him right now. I'm not what I used to be. I've fallen. But I am getting up. Ah, glory to God. I speak it right now in your life. Remember. When you've done all the stand, stand there for it. The Bible speaks of a great wasting away of the saints. Don't be a part of the wasting away. Stand up and be accounted for. Let everybody know that you love God. And through him, all things are possible. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you right now. I thank you for that brother or sister that's rededicating their lives to Christ right now. I thank you for the process of restoration that you are depositing in their lives right now. Lord, hold on to them, glory to God, and let them hold on, to, hold on to you. Increase their hunger and thirst after righteousness, Father God, and heal them where they are hurt. Heal them in them broken places. Heal them where they've been disappointed. Heal them where their heart has been broken. Heal them where they've lost everything they work for. Let them know, Father God, hallelujah, that you're going to give it back to them a hundredfold. Give them peace in their heart, Father God, as you raise them up again to do your will. You are a miracle working God, and we thank you for it right now in your son Jesus' name. Y'all give him praise. God loves you. That God loves you. Hallelujah. If no one else loves you, if no one else feels your ballot, God does. He created you with a purpose. He created you uh, with a destiny. Praise God. And it shall be fulfilled. Allow God to use you 
to his glory and his honor and watch him manifest miracles and blessings in your life. This has been Pastor Jay. Amen. Glory to God. Saying to you, Amen. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. But with God, all things are possible.